because Joe Biden is very much alive and running for re-election. The most insufferable person presently serving in politics is Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris did an interview this weekend that is so bad. I mean, it just, you gotta take, when you, after you're done watching it, you take your Purell, right? And you go straight into the retina. Please, please forget juice into my eyes. Check this out. This is our, these are our cringe alerts, okay, for the day. Two clips of Kamala Harris, maybe three. Clips of Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris asked, uh, hey, Joe Biden has dementia. Joe Biden falls down the stairs. Joe Biden can't speak English. Uh, people are worried about Joe Biden. Can you give us an assessment on how is Joe Biden doing? Oh, man. Okay, so here's our cringe alert for the day. Watch. <laughs> we were talking to some Democratic donors, mm -hmm. and they have told us that should something befall President Biden, and he is not able to run, mm -hmm. that there would be a free-for-all for who would run as president. Because Joe Biden is very much alive and running for re-election. Uh, that's what you say? What if they asked? What if they asked Melania, I don't know, Melania, about Donald Trump? And Melania goes, Donald Trump is very much alive. Do you think that makes some headlines? <laughs> what if they asked Barack Obama about his chef? My chef is very much alive. No, he's not. What if they asked? What if that answer was given about anyone else in the political zeitgeist? Hey, Hillary, how's Jeffrey Epstein doing? He's very much not alive. <laughs> it's like, it's like, how, do you, how do you get away with an answer like that? How do you do it? Well, only if all your other answers are far worse. And there are. There are. That's actually one of the more palatable answers, saying that Joe Biden is alive. Oh, hot damn, Jerry. We're going to have so much meme material here. I want Joe Biden as a zombie tomorrow. That answer, then Joe Biden is a zombie. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, baby. Uh, Michael Jackson, zombie, thriller. Joe Biden. Right? Sniffs a, sniffs another sniffs another zombie kid, right? It's perfect. It's terrifying for all kids. It gets worse. Kamala Harris asked about the collapsing polls for the regime. For this regime. This answer is like tippy top. Okay? This is our nuclear cringe for the day. Here's you. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> A recent CBS poll found that at the beginning of President Biden's term, 70 percent of young people, people under 30, said he was doing a good job. Mm -hmm. Now it's less than 50 percent. Why is that? What's going on? If you poll how young people feel about the climate and the warming of our planet, it polls as one of their top concerns. What we are doing with student loan debt polls very high. We've got to let people know. Who brung it to him? <laughs> That's our challenge. <laughs> Halloween's early, baby. Halloween's early. Also, why is Kamala Harris's resting face like this? Why? Is it Halloween? Is this like a Halloween thing for her? I don't know. Is it? Can, can I get a side by side here? Can I get a side by side? Okay, so. Either way, and I'm, I'm, again, I'm sorry that I had to do that. The truly terrifying. I don't want to do my Kamala Harris impression any more than I have to, but who looks at cameras like that? I look at cameras all day. Who, who looks at cameras like that? Not the headlines you want out of an interview. You do interviews like this because people hate you, and you have to try and brush up on the public image. Kamala Harris polling is lower than Joe Biden's. She is less popular than Joe Biden. So that's like having prostate cancer, right? And colon cancer, fighting. It's just a road to the bottom, very quickly road to the bottom. Here are the headlines out of that interview. Kamala Harris says Biden is very much alive and is running for re-election. These are not, again, not the headlines that you want. Kamala Harris awkwardly assured 2024 voters on a Sunday night interview that Joe Biden is very much alive. Well, that's good. That's really gonna that's really gonna help out 
the old party. He's alive. You got to do the mirror test. Like, does can he fog up a mirror? Does your, can Joe Biden fog up a mirror? Is there enough there? This, I mean, it 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 just it just gets it just gets worse, ladies and gentlemen, because the people know that the world is sort of coming to pieces, right? Like the world is sort of falling apart, and a lot of that is well based on weakness projected from a guy who's clearly suffering from dementia and being elderly abused by everyone around him, including Kamala Harris, who just is giddy for Joe Biden's job, by the way, Kamala Harris regularly and often say that she's so excited to take Joe Biden's job. Gavin Newsom, uh, fresh off of molesting small Chinese children, uh, saying that Kamala is all lined up to take the role, right? Gavin Newsom saying, no, 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 no. Kamala is ready to take the role. She's ready. Kamala Harris, Harris, see what we did there? Also saying, yes, yes, she's definitely ready to take over. Yes, she like screams it. Subtlety is not, not really their strong suit. So what about like when asked about the disasters around the planet that this administration has begot? Like, what 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 is your message, for instance, to horrible terrorists that wish to kill Americans and have killed Americans and currently have American hostages? What is your profound message to them to get them to relinquish said hostages so that you can be the hero? To Iran. Don't. What? Is that it? That's the whole clip? What's the message to Iran? Don't. Oh, got it. Okay. Thank you for your wisdom, Kamala. Really. Amazing stuff. This is why Kamala is the most unpopular vice president in American history, right? She's getting it here from all sides, right? So everyone on the right hates her and knows that she is just an absolute dingbat. And then even people on the left, like super hardcore left-wing reporters, like there on 60 Minutes, they just threw softball after softball after softball to Kamala. Uh, she, she, can't, she, she can't get pat through these interviews. What happens when she goes on Univision? I mean, you don't, you won't find, Univision is owned by ABC. You won't find a more hard left-wing, uh, open borders, globalist network than Univision. Look at Kamala being incapable of answering simple questions on Univision. I'm going to go to the border. And I, when are you going to the border, the Vice President? The administration has asked. I'm not finished. <laughs> I've said I'm going to the border. <laughs> I'm not finished. Maybe it's a response like that that has blacks and Latinos saying, uh, we don't really care uh, whatever flavor of the month Kamala Harris is. We ain't voting for it. Our new poll shows the president's approval among black voters is down 17 points since the first year of his presidency. Mr. Biden is also down by double digits among Latinos, voters without a college degree and independents. And as we mentioned, 59 percent of Democratic primary voters tell us they want to see a challenger to President Biden. Ooh, okay, yeah, all right. Donald Trump saying that Kamala Harris will take Joe's place. They're going to shove Joe off the cliff. Nobody, nobody can want to vote for this guy. Nobody. And maybe he makes it to the gate. I don't know if he makes it to the gate. I don't think it even matters anymore because they have been so destructive to our country, what they've done as a party, that I don't even think it matters. Who are they going to put in? A guy from California that's destroyed that state? They're going to put in Kamala? Kamala. Actually, our numbers are better Kamala. against Kamala than they are against Joe, so maybe we'd Kamala. like Kamala too. <laughs> Listen, you're, uh, again, you got to find me the person who likes Kamala Harris. Can you find me anyone? She's getting it from the left. Of course, everyone on the right, she would never do an interview with anyone like that's even remotely conservative. Conservatives always have to do interviews with left-wingers. Left-wingers never have to do interviews with conservatives. But what about Joe Rogan? Donald Trump should go on Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan recently with Tim Dillon, like probably my favorite at working comedian right now. Uh, my favorite comedian of all time is probably Robin Williams, but like Tim Dillon is just hysterical. This is the most, of course, listened to podcast on planet Earth. 15 million subscribers. That's the last known public number. It's probably more than that. And here's what that audience uh, heard of Kamala Harris. A year from now. There's no way. How? Newsom is coming up. 
and trying to run. Um, there are other people that are circling. I don't think he runs again. I can't see it. I don't see it. How do you think they get Kamala Harris to step down? Because she's rightfully, if he steps down, you know, until some... If Kamala like, Harris cannot say a sentence. It's yeah, almost, yeah. she's almost worse than him. She Sounds talks like, in like gypsy curses. <laughs> <laughs> when they ask her something, <laughs> she'll be like, my grandma said that a hive of bees is still bees if you if you bury it. And you're like, what the <laughs> f*** is yeah. this <laughs> That's how she speaks. <laughs> the woman is uh, it has no idea what's going on. <laughs> Ooh, I, I hate our overlords. They insult us. That's what they want. This is a practice in humiliation. They hate America so much. It's a practice in humiliation. We're here for it, though. At least it's entertaining. At least it's entertaining. I've never heard Joe Rogan la laugh like that. Uh, we're laughing. Yeah, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. The state of the country. So please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to keep laughing and also to help us defeat the communism that Colin Harris represents. It's your boy Benny. See ya.